In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to install your Auto Raster Universal and cutters on your Gravograph machine. For this project, we're using the Gravograph IS8000 and controller, the Auto Raster Universal to insert the raster spheres, and the GravoStyle 7 software. We are using white raster spheres for the braille text. To cut out the raised elements, we will use a profile letter cutter with a small tip of 0 .010. To drill the holes for the raster spheres, we will use a raster braille MU cutter. We can zero the cutters or set the cutters flush with the bottom of the nose cone so we can use the micrometer to set the engraving depth in our job. Each click of the micrometer is 1 1,000th of depth and each complete revolution is 25,000th of depth. It is best to start with the micrometer at zero for reference. We will start by zeroing the raster braille MU cutter. Loosen the set screw on the cutter knob and move the cutter up about 2 inches. Tighten the set screw to hold it there. Put the cutter into the spindle by threading it counterclockwise. Use the arrow keys to move the spindle over the material you will be cutting into. Now lower the spindle until the nose cone touches the material and the tension spring compresses slightly. Loosen the cutter set screw while holding onto the cutter. Gently lower the cutter until it touches the material, then tighten the set screw. This sets the cutter flush with the bottom of the nose cone. Use the check mark button to raise the spindle off the material. Now remove the raster braille MU cutter from the spindle. The holes for the raster spheres are drilled at 42,000 steps, and the raised elements are cut at 35,000 steps. Therefore, the raised elements are cut at 7,000 less depth. If we rotate the micrometer minus 7 clicks before we zero the profile cutter, it will be set at 7,000 less depth than the raster braille MU cutter. This means we only have to set the micrometer once for the whole job. When we dial 42 clicks to the right, or 42 thousandths for the braille cutter, the profile letter cutter will be at 35,000 steps. We will now zero the profile letter cutter. Rotate the micrometer minus 7 clicks. Loosen the set screw on the cutter knob and move the cutter up about 2 inches. Tighten the set screw to hold it there. Put the cutter into the spindle by threading it counterclockwise. Now lower the spindle until the nose cone touches the material and the tension spring compresses slightly. Loosen the set screw while holding onto the cutter. Gently lower the cutter until it touches the material and tighten the set screw. This sets the cutter flush with the bottom of the nose cone. Leave this cutter in the spindle. Use the check mark button to raise the spindle off the material. Send the machine to the home position by pressing the X button. You can now dial the micrometer 42 clicks past zero and leave it there for the whole job. With the Gravastyle 7 software, select all of the letters and numbers you will be cutting out with the profile letter cutter. Adjust your settings in the machining window. For applied copy, we use 1.5 inches per second XY speed and 1 inch per second Z speed. Set the lift to 0.2 inches and run two passes. The second pass will clean up the cut and make it look much better. After completing the profile cutting part of the job, the machine will return to home. Now switch to the raster braille MU cutter to drill the braille hole. Since we zeroed this bit before we started the job, it should be set and ready to go. Select all of the braille on the job and send to the machine. Make sure all of your settings and presets are accurate. 1 inch per second XY speed, 1 inch per second Z speed, 0 0.070 seconds dwell time, and set the lift to 0.4 inches. Press Start to resume the job. The engraver will begin the drill cycle. As a helpful tip, it is a good idea to test your braille holes before running your entire sign job. Upon completion of the drill cycle, the machine will return to the home position. Now we set the surface for the Auto Raster Universal to establish the amount of pressure used to insert the raster spheres. Before attaching the Auto Raster Universal to the Gravograph machine, remove the reservoir cover and fill the reservoir with raster spheres. 
replace the reservoir cover. Unscrew the nose cone from the bottom of the micrometer. Tighten the micrometer all the way to the top. Tighten the pressure spring located above the micrometer to max pressure. Insert the drawbar into the spindle shaft and screw the drawbar into the threaded hole in the top of the Auto Raster Universal. Tighten the bottom knob until the Auto Raster Universal is tight against the bottom spindle. Spin the middle knob down so it is touching the bottom knob. Select all of the braille on the job and send to the machine. Make sure all of your settings and presets are accurate. 1 inch per second XY speed, 1 inch per second Z speed, 0 0.070 seconds dwell time, and set the lift to 0.4 inches. It is important you make sure to turn the vacuum and spindle to off. If the spindle is left on, it will destroy the auto raster universal. When the job has sent to the controller, press the green start button, immediately followed by the pause button. The machine will stop when it gets to the start point on the job. When the auto raster universal pauses over the pre-drilled hole, press the Z-axis button. Press the down jaw key and move the pen tip halfway over the surface of the material. Push the auto raster tip up until one raster sphere is released. Continue holding the tip up as you lower the auto raster universal until it makes contact with the pre-drilled hole. The auto raster universal spring should compress slightly. Press the check button to confirm the Z setting. Press the start button to insert the raster spheres into the holes. If you do not have an auto raster universal, you can insert the raster spheres manually using the raster braille pen. With this, you have successfully created an ADA compliant sign, installed and used the Raster Braille MU Cutter, Profile Letter Cutter, and Auto Raster Universal on the Gravograph Engraving Machine.